Is pen pressure not working for your tablet? Well, I can help you fix that. That's coming up next. Thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and I get a lot of questions about pen pressure not working on people's drawing tablets. So I have a few tips that might help you get your tablet working again. The first frequently asked question I get is about an error message that says tablet driver not found. This also coincides with the pen pressure not working. And this happens because your computer has gone into sleep mode. And when you wake up your computer, it messes up your Wacom tablet driver. So really the best thing to do is unless you need to have sleep mode enabled, just go ahead and disable sleep mode. And rather than put your computer to sleep, just save all your work and shut down your computer. That's better for your computer anyways. If you're getting this error message, the easiest thing to do is just restart your computer. If you don't want to restart your computer, what you can do is you can restart the tablet service. To do that, you want to hit the Windows key and then do a search for services. Then you'll want to locate the Wacom Professional Service, and then you can click the Restart link to restart it. Or you can open that service, and then you can manually stop and start it. If your digital painting application is open, you'll need to close that and reopen it, and your pen pressure should be working again, and you should be able to access the Wacom Tablet Control Panel. Another commonly asked question is about pen pressure not working. There's a number of reasons why pen pressure might not be working. First, you can try unplugging your tablet and plugging it into a different USB port. That might fix the problem. You'll also want to make sure that you're using the latest driver for your tablet, so you may need to update the driver. You could try restarting your computer. You could try resetting the Wacom Professional Service, as I described in the last question. You can also open the Wacom Tablet Properties. And if you look under Options, there's an option for pressure compatibility, which can adjust the pen pressure for compatibility with older applications that only support 1024 pressure levels. You can try checking this and see if that makes a difference. You can also go to the Calibrate tab under your pen, and you can make sure that Windows Ink is checked because Photoshop, for example, needs Windows Ink to use pen pressure. You'll also wanna make sure that pen pressure is enabled within your digital painting application. For example, here in Photoshop, you can see I have pen pressure, but I can also turn that off with this little button here up at the top. If I click on this and now I try to draw, I have no pen pressure. So this might actually just be off. If you turn it on, then your pen pressure should come back. Same thing goes with opacity. If you wanna control the opacity pressure, you can do that as well. Some people have trouble getting paint tool side to work with pen pressure. You can see here that no matter how hard I press down, I get the same line width. To fix that, we'll go to the Others menu and we'll go to Options. We'll look under the tab for Digitizer Support and we'll change Click Detection to zero and we'll click on OK. And now if I press down lightly, I get a thin line. If I press down hard, I get a thick line. Now it may take calibrating your pen pressure to be able to see the difference in pressure. So you can go to your Control Panel and then look under Wacom Tablet Properties. And under your pen, you have your pressure setting or tip feel. Now, I like to set mine a little bit towards firm, but if you press down lighter, you could set yours towards soft. Make some changes and then go back to Paint Tool Sci and see if your pen's working better and it's easier to get pen pressure now. And then finally, you'll want to consider whether or not the application you're using supports pen pressure because some applications do not support pen pressure. So I hope that helped you get your pen pressure working again on your tablet. If it did, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more digital art tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.